Got it. <laughs> hey, yo, today I'm connected to Sensei. Perfect Cell has Black Air Force energy. If y'all don't subscribe, help your boys 30k. Let me know what you want to see next down below. We did react to the one previous to this. I forgot the name of it. I forgot the name of it because he was turning this into into a two parter. We got part two. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Last time on Dragon Ball Z. Our favorite protagonist, Sensei, told us about the android Sokka. There was a whole lot of action there as we met Trunks the, with the little vest and the cool hairstyle. Bro had a sword, <laughs> but he couldn't get the job done against the androids. Instead of powering up through his own fruition, he decided to take the easy way out and come to a different timeline to try again. Things did seem to go as planned. However, there was a wrench in Trunks' scheme as Cell approaches. Today, we will be talking about Cell, his shenanigans, and his perfect form. This is Perfect Cell, mm. the menace of Earth. All right, Joe, so last time on the last episode of Dragon Ball Z, we left off with Cell's second form, finally obtaining his perfect form. Now, this was due to this McDonald's arch hairline ass nigga Vegeta messing up <laughs> once again because his pride gets in the way. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, saying pride is a little annoying. We're gonna talk about Ugly that motherfucker. Bye. Shout out the editor. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, saying pride is a little annoying. We're gonna talk about that a lot in this video. <sighs> However, Vegeta just does it more often than everyone else. Why did you let him absorb Andrew? God, I swear to God, Vegeta, if he wasn't so strong, I would smack your hairline straight. Anyways, Perfect Cell is literally terrorizing everybody on this small island. He warms up by dog walking Krillin and asks Vegeta to help him warm up even more. First off, why is Krillin getting dog walk like this? That didn't even need to happen. Beat the goofy out of this nigga. <laughs> Damn near killed him with one hit. Trunks went to go give him a sensu bean later on and was like, oh my God, thank God you're still breathing. Yeah, no shit. This man Perfect Cell literally punished this nigga. This man Cell hit Krillin so hard the little dots on his forehead started coming off. <laughs> I'm just saying this nigga's different. Now as Cell is destroying everybody Yo. on this island, Gohan and Goku are still training in the time chamber. Yo. Now Gohan is in here having a self-reflection about being a bitch. He starts recollecting Dang. about every other time in his life where he got angry and got stronger, but he didn't go to the extreme because he's a soft ass pussy. Now I know Gohan's That's the goat, and it's boy. not fair to just say he's, you know. Your pops is one of the best. You're supposed to be as good, if not better, than him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Damn, man's a pet boy. He's a soft ass pussy. Damn. Now I know Gohan's the goat, and it's not fair to just say he's, you know, a super soft ass dude. But but even he realized how much of a bitch he was being, bro. He's literally having flashbacks. Like, damn. I did go crazy on Raditz, but I was a bitch there, okay? Uh -oh. And I remember when I was being a bitch, my man Piccolo, and he threw me into a rock, and that, I blew it up. That, that was crazy. Counter, bro. I remember I was being a bitch about Frieza, then I got mad. I started attacking her. I mean him. My <laughs> fault. Had to sound like a girl. I mean, this man just keeps having flashbacks. I, I don't know. Now, this is when he finally goes Super Saiyan 3. I mean, oh, my fault. Super Saiyan 1, and his hair long as shit. His hair so long, this man Goku grabbed him by his ponytail and was like, yeah, nigga, we got to cut your hair. I'm not going to lie. Take him to a barber, though, yo. Not Vegeta's. Oh, God. I'm just saying. <laughs> so at this point, Cell is fighting Hell Vegeta no. because this man Trunks refuses to get in the fight until Vegeta either passes out, dies, or becomes unconscious. Now, Krillin is begging and pleading this man Trunks the entire time, like, bro, help your dad. He's getting destroyed. But this man Trunks, man Trunks the entire time, like, bro, help. Yo, that shit looks badass. Your dad. The way it's tied up to that shit looks fire, boy. Dad, he's getting destroyed. But this man Trunks is literally concealing his power level this entire time because he doesn't want his dad to feel self-conscious. This man Vegeta is such a bitch that his own son had to hide his power level. You don't see Goku doing this with Gohan. Goku was happy Gohan surpassed him. I swear to God, bro, this nigga Vegeta, bro, this stupid. God damn. Anyway, Cell warms up, and by warms up, I mean he anally <laughs> penetrates Vegeta. I know y'all said pause when I just said that, because that was crazy. I ain't gonna lie, but that's literally what he was doing, bro. He was dog walking this nigga, bro. Yeah. Vegeta even attacks a vital spot of Cell, hits this nigga in a vital spot of his neck, and Cell eats it and is fine. Nigga says, What's wrong, Vegeta? Oh, and this right here, this cell form right here. Ooh, woo. It's the best cell right here, in my opinion. The ones before, they, they pretty ugly, I ain't gonna lie. 
start smiling at him. Nah. At this point, Vegeta is mentally and physically defeated, bro. Uh, he's out of the fight, bro. I know y'all see the Broly movie. I'm just saying this happens to him often. He pushes this nigga Vegeta through multiple boulders. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Yo, he fly through them boulders. I ain't gonna lie. Trunks watching his dad get bitch, but says, I can't help him. Like, bro, he literally says he's not gonna help until his dad gets put to sleep. What kind of shit is that? So Vegeta's in this water at this time and he pulls himself out of it. Literally looking pathetic as hell. I'm not gonna lie, but he used his final flash. This shit almost blew the entire earth up. Thank God he changed the, you know, the direction a little bit. So we're going to the atmosphere. And I ain't gonna lie, yo, this was a powerful attack. It ate half of Cell's torso, bro. And Damn. this man Cell should get a literal Oscar for that performance, because this nigga sold that he was hurt. I ain't gonna hold you when I was a kid and watch this. I thought Cell was down and out. Vegeta even started laughing. But this dickhead laughed back and said, gotcha. I said, oh, nah. And used Piccolo's power to regenerate. Nigga started mixing Vegeta after this, bro. Bruh. He was even walking through a barrage of Vegeta's blast, yo. Vegeta's like, it's not doing any Vegeta's blast, yo. Vegeta's like, nah. Look at this fucking scene right here, bro. You got me fucked up. Yo, nah, bro, nah, bro. If I'm fighting some motherfucker, bro. Listen, if I shoot a motherfucker and he's still walking towards me with that fucking face, oh my god. <laughs> hey, Vegeta, you better <laughs> turn it on yourself, boy, and kill yourself, because, boy, you about oof. You fuck, bro. Oh my god. It's not doing anything to him, literally, bro. He's eating all of that. He walks through the blast and sleeps this nigga. Now that Vegeta finally got put to sleep like somebody read this nigga a lullaby, this man Trunks bro. goes Broly mode. Bro got swoped as hell. This Super Ooh. Saiyan, Super Super Saiyan Trunks or Ascended Saiyan, whatever you want to call it, Saiyan 1.5, this is a big nigga, bro. Bro got big as shit. Like, yo, how long you was in the gym? I ain't gonna lie. It was going crazy. <laughs> they don't really look like that nigga, though. I ain't gonna lie. People always ask, how you get so big and strong? Forcing you one of these when I had a scoop of Super Saiyan. Gohan and Goku are playing tag at this point. These niggas in here playing Shit. while the world is in danger. I'm like, what's up with y'all? Niggas here like, hey, see if you can catch me. Come on, son. What are we even doing right now? Anyways, Trunks vs. Cell starts. And Trunks fakes being weaker so Vegeta can get away. Basically, mm. he leads Cell away from him so Gangsta. Krillin can get him and fly away. Krillin even comments about Vegeta when he goes to pick him up. He was like, bro, there's no way. I would have let your ass got smoked. I ain't gonna lie. Like, damn, Krillin. He was like, I don't know how this nigga can even love you. I'm like, Jesus Christ. But this whole episode shows why Cell is the GOAT, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. This nigga said he doesn't even care about the world or world conquest. He just wants hands. And at this point, Trunks is in his big form. Uh, but from what we learn, Goku says this form sucks. He's like, yeah, I've surpassed really? like my limits, but I'm too slow. It takes too much energy too. Uh, so basically you're in this big berserker form, but it's easy to dodge and you run out of key too fast. And because of this, Goku decides that if him and Gohan stay in their Super Saiyan form as long as possible, bro, they gonna eat, sleep, and sh in Super Saiyan, bro. Literally. No matter what we doing, we in Super Saiyan form. I'm like, okay, y'all trying to maximize that stamina. I see you. Oh, that was crazy. But anyways, Trunks <laughs> realizes after getting a 50-piece nugget with a large fry that he's too slow and can't win. And Damn, right before bro. he's about to smoke. That's so unfortunate, bro. You got the best possible, like, 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 phase, I guess you can call it, right? And you, and just you just have this weakness, bro. And it has it just has to be stamina, bro. It has to be stamina, speed, bro. You, you're fucked. You're fucked, bro. You're getting a 50 piece nugget with a large fry that he's Damn. too slow and can't win. And right before he's about to smoke this nigga trunks, Sarah was like, "Hey, how did you guys get so strong so fast? Can you get stronger if you had more time?" He was like, "Yeah, I guess." He was like, "Hmm." All right, cool. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to set up a cell arena. There used to be a world martial arts tournament, and I'm going to recreate it. It's going to be called the cell games. Y'all niggas got 10 the days from now. Games. Bring everybody that y'all want, and we're going to fight. Mano we mano. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey to Mickey, Mickey. You feel me? Like, hey, we about to get it in. And that's when I realized this was a goat. Bro literally created a cell arena and stood there and waited for 10 days wow. just to run the hands with it. Oh my Bruh. god, bro. He even breaks into a news station to announce the tournament. Oh. Now, usually I would have just told you what he normally said to everybody. But y'all know I got to hit y'all with that hood translation, bro. He said, yo, gang, gang, gang. Hey, yo, it's your boy, Sal. Coming straight out of news any city, you feel me? 
Hey, yo, shout out to Boma. I seen you got that new BBL and that new Gohan movie trailer. You feel me? I'm just saying, though, like, what you trying to get into? <laughs> you talking about Capsule Corp. Yo, I got a pill for you. You feel me? <laughs> Anyways, my fault. Yo, I don't want to get Vegeta too mad. You feel me? It's fucked up hairline. You feel me? But anyway, hey, yo, I'm setting up a sale tournament. You feel me? I want everybody to come here and get these hands in. If there's any fighters in the world that think that they nice with those, you feel me? You nice with these? They come see me. You feel me? Come see about it. And if y'all niggas want smoke, y'all know where to pull up to. You feel me? And get in hell. I'm about to put you on that. Pack. That pack. I'm about to put you on that za. Hey, yo, sell out. So Goku pulls up on this nigga sale at this point. They have a whole back and forth, bro. Where my nigga Goku was questioning him about every. My man look like a shorty. It's not as detailed, obviously, because it's far away, whatever, but. My man look like a little shorty. Then he's like, oh, this the sale arena. Okay, okay. I see you got this motherfucking, yeah, you know I mean, out here and sh But what you really like with those? What am I like with those? Boy, I'll beat the shit out your monkey ass, boy. You don't ever play with me like that. Hey, yo, first off, don't call me no monkey, son. That was mad racist. I'm just saying. Second off, yo, I can't wait till we come back. My son gonna really put the motherfucking Mickey mock-ups on you, boy. On God. I'm gonna fight you first, though, bitch ass nigga. Yo, Goku, I'll really get it popping right now. Say something else. And my man Goku disappeared at this point. This nigga's not trying to fight, you <laughs> feel me? Nah, I'm playing, I'm playing, nah. But he really wasn't a match at this point, though. I'm going to keep it clean. So at this point, my man Cell went and destroyed this meteor that was going to hit Earth. I don't really understand this part. I, I can't remember if he did it because he wanted to protect Earth or like, I, I really don't know, bro. But he broke a meteor up. I uh, maybe he just wanted to protect Earth so he could have a Cell tournament. I can't really remember. Mm. One of y'all niggas will tell me in the comments, though. It doesn't Probably. matter. But anyways, we got the Krillin Goku rock scene here, which is literally a meme. This man Krillin was tripping. He's like, hmm, my man Goku's been training hardcore for a long time. However, he is resting right now. Let me test his reflexes. Why did you do that, Krillin? Bro hit this man in the head with a rock. He said, ow! <laughs> that nigga was mad as hell. Anyways, this nigga Vegeta started training. Piccolo was training. You feel me? Little training arc and all that. Nigga is the biggest hater ever, bro. Like, ah, damn. Vegeta's such a hater, bro. He gets stronger from hating on niggas. I swear to God. But anyways, at this point, an army pulled up on sale at the cell arena, bro. Why did they do that? This man sale literally smoked the entire army. Bro, they hit him with everything they had. Pause. Do, 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 do. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, the Nuki Wookie. Uh oh. Bro. That new MW2, bro. That shit look boss. That shit looks so fucking good, bro. And I hope that, you know, the, the physics of the old MW2 is brought back. Yo, that game has to be like one of the best. Because the, the past cards lately, bro. Nah. The, the last good one was uh, Modern Warfare. No cap. He ate all of that and then smoked them all. Piccolo and Goku were having a whole conversation. This man Piccolo was like, man, I'm strong, but I can't f with Cell. Goku said, facts. <laughs> you feel me? That was crazy. <laughs> but Goku wanted to bring back the Dragon Ball so he could save everybody that died. They called this nigga soft in the head when he did it, but he went to go see King Kai so he could find out about New Namek. He wanted to go get somebody that could be the new Earth's protector and create Dragon Balls. And he ended up doing it, I ain't gonna lie. Bro pulled up the planet Namek and he said the most racist thing I've ever heard in Dragon Ball, bro. He said, hey, look, a whole pack of Piccolos. What do you mean by that? Bro, racist. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but anyways, Goku really went and handpicked the new god for what his whole planet, fuck? yo. This is different. So then they fixed the Dragon Balls and now we got that problem fixed, but there's still a lot of things to answer. Anyways, Vegeta came out of the time chamber at this point too and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing in there? Why are you bloody? Was he self mutilated? Like, like what was he doing to himself? I don't even know. But anyways, 10 days blink past fast as hell. This man Toriyama does not play with no in-between shit. He wants straight hands. This man Hercule showed up to the cell ring and I'm like, oh my God, bro. Hercule might be one of the funniest niggas in Dragon Ball Z, bro. I'm not yeah, gonna goofy. lie to you. Nigga, it's hilarious. Nigga sounds like Hulk Hogan. Macho <laughs> man Randy Savage sounded ass nigga, bro. Like, oh my God. We don't care about those people, man. I don't care about those people that aren't Stark Raven or Hulkamaniac. This man, Master Roshi, seen him on the TV and called this man a ham hock, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> what is even happening? Yo, this next part was crazy, bro. The news guy and Vegeta are talking. Vegeta threatens the news guy, right? The news guy backs up 
and says that this nigga Vegeta's hairline is insane, bro. He talks about his hair to his face. Really? And you can't even get mad at the news guy that said it because this nigga literally has a fresh fade. Yo. Bro, this news nigga is drippy, bro. He even had a part. Bro, this nigga goes to a barber shop, bro. A true mm -hmm. barber shop. You know shit is real when niggas breaking the fourth wall on your hairline, bro. This shit is insane. Anyways, Android 16 showed shit. up. This man Cell started diss him immediately. He was like, nigga, you still alive? Like, what? what's up with you? Mm -hmm. Then the Z fighters came in deep, which is crazy because like only four of them can fight for real, so it don't even matter. The mayor of the city saw Piccolo when the TV got PTSD from this nigga, bro. This, it's a lot going on right now. So Hercule and his group show up too after all this. These niggas came in looking like the Topi Ropo, looking Damn, like- bro, the they all fucking pulled up. Flying six. Big ass elephant nigga looking like a Don fan, and this nigga with a rose oh, in his shit. hand looking like Daya Karama, yo. <laughs> oh, the Don oh. fan nigga grabbed his helmet, squished it, and ate it. Why did you eat that? <laughs> like, well, what are you doing? But he Protein. got punished. I ain't gonna lie. This nigga Hercule stood up next and held his belt up. Like, bro, got the world championship. Nigga put 14 tiles down and broke 14 of them. Well, I think he broke 13 out of 14 or 14 out of 15. It don't matter. Bro broke a bunch of tiles. Whole hand was hurting. <laughs> like, he even used his dynamite kick on sale. Yo, started rocking this nigga. He was like, Mickey, 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 Mickey. But then he got punished. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It, it, was, it was embarrassing. Anyways, all of this happened oh, for man. Goku and Cell to start fighting. And this nigga Goku started mixing that nigga. I am not gonna lie. Bro even had an after image. Goku and Cell fighting each other, talking mad uh, shit. Like, yeah. What the fuck? I am not gonna lie. Bro even had an after image. The Goku fuck? and Cell fighting each other, talking mad shit. Like, yeah, bitch, what's up? I like that. I like that, bitch. Ass. Like, yeah, son, you already know what it is. We pussy. Like, yo, these niggas talking heavy. <laughs> Goku started powering up, yo. This nigga Vegeta was like, damn, Kakarot. Like, he, again, hating, hating, <laughs> damn, hating ass, like, bro. But this man Cell had a Super Saiyan form, too, for real. You remember, this man had Saiyan jeans. Remember yeah. that, because it's important for later. But, anyways, yeah, yeah. this nigga started to mix crazy. They teleporting Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Pew, pew, pew. Mickey, Mickey. We even get the cell laughing meme in this scene, bro, where he's like, ah, 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 like, like, yo, 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 <laughs> this cell saga is mad hilarious, bro. So many memes came out of this shit. This man cell even used multi shadow clone jutsu in this next part. Was boxing multiple cells. <laughs> Nick even stole the special beam cannon. This nigga Piccolo was on the sidelines, like, oh yeah, this nigga stole my move. <laughs> this nigga mad as hell. <laughs> nigga stole Krillin move and everything. Started throwing destructo disc. Bro even stole the command man wave. This man was fighting multi shadow clone Jusu and beat this nigga Cell into one nigga though. How you beat the clones <laughs> back into him, yo? <laughs> like, this nigga went crazy. Yo. So after he did the command man wave, this man dodged that shit, bro. I am not gonna lie. Choreography was going so fire, yo. This man Trunks was shaking, yo, in the apprehensiveness. He was like, oh my God, these niggas are boxing. So Damn. Goku got up and started doing a command man wave, and Cell was like, what? Seriously? And then he did the instant transmission command man wave, bro, and hit Ooh. this nigga with the Yaminer. This yeah, man said no. that his whole top of his body blew off, oh, bro. Fuck. But this nigga is broken. Everybody's Good like, back. yay, we won. Nope. This nope. nigga regenerated again. He can regenerate from even small molecules. I hate this dude. What the Nick fuck? started mixing even more, but Goku was tired as hell. But Cell is too, though, to be fair. Goku started blasting this nigga rapidly, but soon realizes he can't win, yo. He's, he's not that guy. I'm not that guy, pal. Fuck, That's the bro. Roshi watching even says this nigga Goku washed. But Goku says, eh, I give up. But he says there's somebody here that's stronger than me that can wash you. Oh, and I word. remember watching this as a kid, and I'm like, if Goku can't do it, who the hell is gonna do it? I'm looking around like right. Vegeta, maybe like nah, Vegeta ain't doing it. That nigga soft, like, like, uh, like who gonna win? Then this nigga says Gohan, and everybody's like, what? Gohan, nigga, huh? <laughs> Gohan walks up, yo, as this is happening, and this nigga, this news, <laughs> the news guy with the clean fade called this nigga a food <laughs> vendor, bro. Like, come on, son. <laughs> But Gohan powers nah. up and he says, oh shit, this nigga Goku was capping it. He was not that nice. And they start immediately mixing. I'm not going to lie. Cell is mixing oh, this oh, oh, nigga oh. Gohan crazy, bro. Blasted this nigga through 48 rocks. Piccolo was mad as shit at Goku, bro. He's like, yo, you don't put my son in danger, bitch ass nigga. But Gohan started thinking back to him being the goat, bro. He was oh, like, shit. man, I really need to get angry. So uh, I you see now the confidence built up. He said, before I was, I'm a bitch. I'm a pussy. I'm this. I'm that. Now it's motherfucker. I'm the shit. Yes, yeah, sir, boy. Come Can punish on. this nigga. And when Cell Come realizes on. that Gohan will get stronger if he's mad, he wants him to get mad and starts mm. beating this nigga up crazy. He's paused. He started stomping this nigga's head and everything. 
Gohan started getting mad a little bit, bro, and hit this nigga back. Makes him bleed with one punch. Piccolo, once again, Gohan real dad tries to intervene, but it's like, yo, Goku's like, Goku's like, yo, adoptive dad. Calm down. Oh, like, <laughs> he's about to do that, y'all mean her. So Android Just 16 do. is the one that actually intervenes in this part, which is crazy, because it's like, I never saw that coming. I'm not going to lie. But this nigga supposedly had a self-destruct bomb inside of him. But that bomb not oh. even in him anymore. Boma done took that shit out. Oh, so uh, this motherfucker, he just he just farted. He let off, he he let off a little toot and it, man, Boma, what the fuck, bro? Any more Boma done took that shit out. Has been so this nigga got smoked. At this point, he wants to make Gohan even more mad, so he goes to attack his friends hey, by making hey, Cell Juniors. What the fuck type Thomas is he on? He's spitting out babies like uh, fuck. this nigga's hey, weird. Yo. But these little niggas is nice. I'm not gonna lie. They started mixing niggas up. The oh, Z fighters can't even beat oh. these little niggas. Yamcha, T, and the Krillin, especially these weak ass niggas, are punished. So Android 16 is talking to Gohan at this point, trying to give him advice. But Cell smokes him mid sentence, which triggers oh. Gohan into Super Saiyan 2. Yo. Bro, when I tell you that Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is destroying everybody, bro, like, this nigga the GOAT. Bro, yes, sir. Cell Jr. even had Krillin hostage. This nigga teleport, punish him. Ooh. Teleport, punish another Ooh. nigga. Grab the Sensu beans, gave him the trunks. Ooh. Like, bro. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> this nigga was working all the little cells. Yes, sir. Nick is mixing them while holding the beans. He threw the beans in the air. Had time to punish them and catch the sensu beans. Yo. He's literally saving this while fighting this nigga cell. <laughs> Starts punishing cell. He's blocking literally everything. Bro, cell was like, Mickey, 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 be like, weave, 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 block, block, weave. I'm like, oh, this nigga's different. Nick punched cell so hard he threw up, bro. Then he uppercut uh. him. Ooh. Oh, fuck. So it's tight at this point. He like, how can I take this much damage with this little attack? <laughs> Gohan is even hiding the gap between her power, bro. Cell was literally scared of this nigga. Nick ran up and did a Kamehameha wave. They had a Kamehameha wave class where this blew his shit back. They thought he died. He regenerated, of course, because he's got broken abilities, but it doesn't even Fucking matter. Man. So Goku was like, yo, finish kill this, this nigga off, please. Pause. That was crazy. But he's like, nah, dad, this nigga bitch, he got to suffer more. I'm like, bro, oh my God. That saying pride kicking in this nigga is dangerous but this nigga hits hey, and you already know you got you got to give him the fucking smirk bro oh my god that saying pride kicking in this nigga is i mean business then that time out come on bro it's dangerous but this nigga hit sell so hard he spit up android oh, 18 shit. bro i've never seen no shit like this bro y'all remember when he absorbed the android oh, 18 yeah. and 17 and all that yo this nigga punched sell so hard in his stomach that he vomited up an entire android and then this nigga did the big shit ever, bro. As he resorted back to his second form, this nigga turned into a fat ass version of himself full of energy and tried to blow the world up like a sore <laughs> loser. But it didn't even matter because this nigga literally teleported this nigga to King Kai's planet and let him blow up there. But oh. this nigga cell came back from a small molecule of himself and he had a fucking Zenkai boost because of the man teleported this man to destroy a literally teleported this to the king kai's planet and let him blow up there oh but this nigga cell came back from a small molecule of himself and he had a fucking zenkai boost because of the saiyan dna bro yeah. had enough power to go to his super saiyan 2 what level fuck, and bro? he started getting with this nigga. so this man got power got attributes whatever you want to call it from all these different things right Bro, please tell me they fucking he 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 obviously exploded himself. Bro, tell me they 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 finessed this man. They killed him. Gohan, bro, which led to the father son Kamehameha oh. wave. And I'm not gonna lie, bro, this is how oh, things ended, yes. bro. Blew this get a smithereen. Yes. But before Gangsta. I end the video, I gotta talk really shortly about how Trunks went back to his timeline. Gangsta. I talked about this before. But what Trunks did was the equivalent of being from private school, getting bullied by private school kids, then going to a hood school, like a public school, because his mom maybe moved or whatever, maybe ran out of money, had to get him into public school. Yeah. Started getting nice there with the public school kids. I'm talking nice with the hands, you feel me? The y'all meaners. Then his mom might have got up a little bit. He returned back to private school and then he started bullying private school kids. That is literally Ooh. what happened. He went to a different timeline with stronger androids where he could beat them up easily. Yep. They came back in 2v1, Android 18 and 17. Literally. Man, she and I'll have by, you know what I'm saying? He destroyed them. 
Cell tried to kill him. Didn't work this time. Nigga smoked Cell too, bro. Like he punished Jeez. everybody in his timeline, bro. If I was Cell, I would have moved to a different timeline. Oh, that joint suck. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Everybody dead. Everything blown up. Like right. his mom there, I guess. But come on, Shine. That's crazy. I guess maybe you can get the Dragon Balls back and wish everybody back. I, I don't really know how that works, bro. I'm, I'm gonna come all the way clean with y'all. But bro, this Cell is a goddamn demon, son. Like one of the most menacing people in Dragon Ball Z, bro. I'm gonna come all the way clean. However, that nigga was a bitch for trying to blow up the world. I can't even. Yeah, no cap, bro. Man, really tried taking everybody with him. And this motherfucker, <laughs> this motherfucker teleported him somewhere else, bro. That's insane. Nah, that that last that last movie, you know what I'm saying? The 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 father son Kamehameha. Oh my god, bro. I remember I forgot what game I was playing, but I remember that was one of the moves. That shit was beautiful, bro. Cause it had like a little cutscene. You're doing it, you do the little the controllers. It's like it's like the the combo. You do the little combo, whatever. And it it just it just you see it, bro. It's like a whole cinematic of Goku behind you. Your your Gohan, yo, it's fucking gangster, bro. So dope. So fucking dope, bro. W, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, bro, my man too nice with the goddamn thumbnails. You know what I'm saying? That is gangster, bro. Yo, that's my reaction. If y'all enjoyed this video, like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.